Status check. Go Delta. Go and ROL seventy. Minus fifteen. Rofi ignition. Ten. T minus ten. Eight, nine. Seven, eight. Six. Seven, six, five. We have ignition. Two, one. And liftoff of the final United Launch Alliance Delta IV heavy rocket carrying NROL 70 for the National Reconnaissance Office and closing Delta's six decade legacy of excellence in space. Or is that min power level? Port and starboard strap on, so operating at enhanced power level. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent Your data. Parameters look good. Like control surfaces look good. And we have fired the isolation pyro valve on second stage reactor control system. First step at readying that system for operation. Can you look good? And we passed through Mach 1 and Mach 2. Normal strips there, everything looks good. All three strips operating as expected. Operating as expected. Everything looks good. And we fired the power valve, pressurizing the reactor control system on the second stage. Pressure's coming up. Everything looks good there. What we're looking for is going to close loop guidance. Three or four seconds. And we've started close loop guidance. We are maneuvering as expected. All three engines continue to look good. And we are three minutes to Corbico. And the vehicle is now one half its liftoff weight. All three engines operating normally. Everything looking good. And the vehicle is now 29 nautical miles in altitude. Uh, 64 miles downrange, traveling at 5,300 miles per hour. Everything continues to look good. And we've just passed through the Carmen line, reaching 100 kilometers in altitude. Everything looking good. Two minutes to Corbico, coming up on throttle down on the strap-ons. And we've begun throttling down the strap-on boosters in preparation for cutoff. We've now achieved min-power level on the strap-ons. And cutoff. We have cutoff port and starboard boosters coming up on strap-on. And we have strap-on separation. Disturbances look good. Throttled up the core booster, we're now at EPL on um, the single stage booster. And we've re enabled steering following separation of the strap ons. Everything looking good. We just heard confirmation of port and starboard booster jettison. 
We have about a minute and a half until we reach our next mission event, Booster the Engine Pass. On, on the RL-10. One minute, Corbico. Yeah, housing temps respond as expected on the RL-10, and we've started LH-2 boost phase chill down. Housing temps responding as expected. Flight control disturbances are small, and the core RS-68 continues to operate as expected. About 20 seconds to our next mark event, throttling down the core booster in preparation for BECO. And core booster is throttling down, coming up on booster engine cutoff. And we have BECO. Cut off on the booster, everything looking good. And state operation occurred right as expected. NEDs have deployed. And we have pre start, start, and full thrust. RL 10 is up and running normally. Everything looking good. Enabled steering of the second stage. Second stage operating normally. Coming up on bearing separation. About 10 seconds away from bearing sep. Five seconds to bearing sep. And we have bearing separation. Disturbances look good. Upper stage is operating normally. And once again, steering has been re-enabled after the separation event. 